severe preeclampsia. Preeclampsia is a serious problem that can occur in the last half of pregnancy through two weeks after birth. It can cause convulsions or strokes and can be life-threatening for both woman and baby. This video will show how to determine if a woman has severe preeclampsia and how to manage her first care. This woman is in her last few weeks of her first pregnancy. She is here with a severe headache that hasn't gotten better with pain medicine. This is a danger sign for preeclampsia. Ask the woman about other danger signs. Does she have changes in her eyesight, such as blurred vision or seeing spots, difficulty breathing, or pain in her right upper abdomen? Now, take her blood pressure. It's too high if the top number is more than 140 or the bottom number is more than 90. This woman's blood pressure is 150 over 96. This is too high. Next, check the woman's urine for protein. To get an accurate sample, ask her to clean the inner lips of her vagina and hold them open. Start to urinate, then place a clean cup under the stream. Now check to see if she has protein in her urine. To use a test strip, dip the end of the strip in the urine. Wait a moment, then compare the color of the square on her strip to those on the bottle. In this example, protein is the top row. Her square matches the square indicating 3 plus protein. 2 plus protein or more is abnormal. This woman has severe preeclampsia. She has one danger sign, plus high blood pressure and protein in her urine, two plus or more. Severe eclampsia is also diagnosed if a woman has very high blood pressure, more than 160 over 110, plus protein in her urine. A woman with severe preeclampsia needs treatment right away. Tell the woman about her condition and what you need to do to help her. To prevent convulsions, she will need a loading dose of magnesium sulfate right away. If you transfer the woman to a higher level of care, give her the loading dose before she leaves. Have a preeclampsia emergency kit stocked and kept in a location that staff can access at all times. The kit should have magnesium sulfate 50%, one gram in two milliliter ampules, at least 16, 2% lidocaine, sterile water or saline, calcium gluconate, one gram, medicine for high blood pressure, IV cannula, a reflex hammer, tape, a tourniquet, 120 milliliter syringe, two 10 milliliter syringes, and exam gloves. There are two standard regimens for giving magnesium sulfate an IM plus IV regimen and an IV only regimen if you can precisely monitor IV flow rates in your facility. Here the IM plus IV regimen is used. Prepare three syringes. The IV dose is four grams or eight milliliters of magnesium sulfate 50% plus 12 milliliters of sterile water for injection 
in a 20 milliliter syringe. This makes a 4 gram magnesium sulfate 20% solution. The two IM doses have 5 grams or 10 milliliters of magnesium sulfate 50% plus 1 milliliter of lidocaine in each syringe. Let the woman know you will be giving her medicine by IV, followed by two IM injections, one in each buttock. Let her know it's normal to feel warm all over her body. Give the IV dose slowly over five minutes. Then give the two IM injections. Locate the injection site in the upper outer quadrant of the buttock. Clean the site. Then give the injection deep in the muscle. Give the second injection in the other buttock. Give only the two IM injections if you cannot give medicine by IV in your facility. A woman with severe preeclampsia can convulse at any time. Act fast. This is an emergency. Position her on her side, but don't put anything in her mouth. Give her oxygen if available. Stay with her at all times. If she has not yet received a loading dose of magnesium sulfate, give it now. If she has another convulsion after 15 minutes, give 2 grams or 4 milliliters of magnesium sulfate 50% IV slowly over 5 minutes. A woman with severe preeclampsia or eclampsia needs advanced care. If your facility cannot provide close monitoring, the woman must be transferred after receiving the initial loading dose of magnesium sulfate. Explain to the woman the need for higher level care. Then make contact with the hospital to let them know the condition of the woman, the care already provided, and the estimated time of arrival. Write a referral note. Transfer the woman with a skilled health worker and a companion to provide care and monitoring. Remember, preeclampsia occurs in the last half of pregnancy up to the first few weeks after birth. A woman has severe preeclampsia if she has a danger sign, high blood pressure, and protein in her urine. Have a preeclampsia emergency kit stocked and ready.